Arkansas computer technician hoping to walk away with this Capital One check for a million dollars. Yep. Fifteen questions mm -hmm. separate you from the check. Let's see the categories that you'll be dealing with. Gives you a sense of the categories. Okay. You know about the rules? You know about the lifelines? Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, then let's play. Fifteen seconds on the clock, Larry. Customs will kick it off. Which of these events traditionally begins with a person shouting to the waiting participants, on your marks, get set, go? Political debate, foot race, auction, shoe sale at Macy's. B, foot race, final answer. And you are definitely off and running. You've got it. Dignitaries, Larry, it's a $200 question. Which of these dignitaries is often referred to in the press as the world's most famous Buddhist? Queen of England, Dalai Lama, U.S. President, Pope. That's B, the Dalai Lama, final answer. It certainly is. Dalai Lama. Money, that is what you are after, Larry. Sit in that hot seat for $300. On a bank check for $1 million, the amount box should feature a one followed by how many zeros? Six, seven, four, five. Hopefully it's something I'll have. Six figures, final answer. Oh, I hope so, too. You have it right. <laughs> Animation, Larry, is a category. What animated film spawned the spin-off TV cartoon Buzz Lightyear of Star Command? Ice Age, Shrek, Toy Story, Monsters, Inc. Uh, that is C, Toy Story, final answer. One of my favorite movies you have it. And this, Larry, $1,000. Mythology, known to the Greeks as Helios, the deity Saul was the Roman god of what? The wind, the sun, the ocean, the forest. Uh, that is B, the sun, final answer. The sun is shining on you, Larry. You have it for $1,000. but we have to stop. We are out of time. I'll see you next time, Larry. All right. Hopefully I'll see you folks as well. Until then, from New York, everybody, bye-bye. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Millionaire. We're back with Larry Kenturek, a computer technician from Lakeview, Arkansas, whose journey to the hot seat started three years ago. Larry, what took so long? Well, I uh, auditioned in Houston three years ago, and the first time I was picked, I was on my way to the airport to fly to New York to be on the show, and I collapsed in the car, and they had to rush me to the hospital, and it turned out I had a very bad bacterial infection in my right ankle, and it cost me my right foot. Oh, my gosh. You know, well, I, the same thing happened to me a year before on my left foot, so that's why I'm here in the wheelchair. So you've taken this time really um, recuperating and, and mm -hmm. going through rehabilitation and all? And yeah, about a year later I got picked again and everything, but I was still in rehab and I wasn't uh, able to attend. But uh, this third time's a charm, and I said, this time I am coming no matter what. And you made it, Larry. <laughs> you made it. And you brought along your parents, Clarence and Marianne. Welcome to both of you. Determined young man that you have. Yes, he is. He knew he wanted to be a millionaire, but this isn't the only thing that you want to accomplish, Larry, in the near future. Millionaire is one thing, but you have some other dreams. Uh, since I'm still learning how to walk and everything, hopefully by 2010, there is a charity bike race from Houston to Austin, Texas, and I intend to ride in it. <laughs> and I have no doubt, Larry, that you will. But we're awfully glad that you have stopped here along the way in your journey. Right. You are 10 questions away from a million dollars, Larry. Right. Take a look at the categories in front okay. of you. Some probably seem comfortable, some maybe you're not so sure about, but you do have all your lifelines to help you. Phone a friend, ask the audience, double dip, and ask the expert. And today it's $500,000 millionaire winner, Ogie Ogis, who we can see at his home in Boston via Skype. Looking great there, Ogie. And Ogie will be here for you, Larry, when you need him, okay? All right. So what do you say? I got 10 checks left. Every one of them has your name on it. 
up to you which one you go home with. Uh, the million dollar the one. The million please. dollar one. I don't blame you, Larry. So I guess you are ready. Yes, I'm ready. Audience, are you ready? Larry, because you're at the thousand dollar mark, you questions are a little bit harder now. Going for 30 seconds each on the clock. Your first category holidays for 2000. Mario Andretti, Joe DiMaggio, and Sophia Loren have all been grand marshals for an annual New York City parade celebrating what holiday? Halloween, Veterans Day, St. Patrick's Day, Columbus Day. Ooh, Andretti, one, DiMaggio, man. Sophia Loren. Ooh. Seventeen seconds on that clock. Okay. Between St. Patrick's and Columbus Day, but I think I'm going to ask this great audience. All right, we're going to freeze that clock at eight seconds, Larry. Audience, Larry needs your help. On your keypads, vote now. Seventy-three percent believe it is Columbus Day. That is a nice number right there, yeah. Larry. Eight seconds on that clock. Going to start it up again right now. Trust the audience. D, Columbus Day, final answer. That's a wise decision, Larry. <laughs> Trust the audience. <laughs> All right, Larry. Larry, do you like movies? Movie titles is your category. $4,000 question. Citizen Cake, a popular eatery in San Francisco, derives its name from a classic film directed by whom? Orson Welles, Cecil B. DeMille, Frank Capra, Alfred Hitchcock. Great movie. The answer is A, Orson Welles, final answer. From Citizen Kane, Orson Welles it is. <laughs> hmm, transportation for $8,000. Opened in 1863 and known as the Underground, what city's subway system was the world's first? Chicago, Paris, London, Berlin. It's also known as the Tube. The answer is C, London, final answer. The Tube or the Underground. It's in London. You have it right for 